I don't think any of us thought that Kai Sinat, like, it would get to his stream, what That's, we said, what I said on the pod, uh -huh. what y'all yeah. checked me for. Yeah. Um, but we made it on stream, guys. I think yeah. what I love about it, I knew because, you know, we have Mason, we have Pierre, like, they're tapped into the Kai Sinat community, the AMP community. I knew that Kai was going to hear about it. Like, yo, there's a podcast that's saying that I should leave AMP. I thought he would reference it on yeah. a stream. But he pulled up our episode and watched the entire segment and watched the apology a week later. I love that. So he did that, that was like, that's yeah. why I was freaking out. I was like, whoa, like this is really cool. Yeah, like, some people only react to little clips that they see. Yeah. And they don't really go try to find the real context for behind sure. it. So yeah, yeah. big salute to him for doing that yeah. on his platform. So and he was able to kind of assess both sides, where Savon yeah. was coming from, where Reggie, Pierre, and myself was coming from. And that we forgot dope. to add, um, when we were reci uh, reciting, when we were telling um, Savon about the names, we forgot to add Agent and... Um, oh, uh, Ray Agent. is like an honorable member. They call him Young Ray Kwan or Ray. That's the, um, oh, that's the Asian one, right? Yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah, um, he's, he's from, uh, dang, I forget where he's from. He's from, um, I don't want to say Vietnam. Taiwan. Hey, yo, Taiwan. 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 My bad, my bad. It's okay, I, I, I can fuck up because I'm Asian and they won't get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, they sent yeah. Ray back to the army. Free my man Ray. Yeah, nah, I heard he, was, he left. He was only supposed to go, but. Nah, I know, but yeah. still. Oh, he went back because of the army? Yeah. After After high school, they, after high school, they get. Uh, or go into the army. Uh -huh. so, um, oh, real quick, That's uh, different. and we 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 created like a little um, summary of Kai's reaction mm. and some of the bullshit that I said. <laughs> and before we even get into some of the bullshit that I said, I will say this: there's some things that I'm gonna stand on, and I'm like, you're just not gonna change my mind. I think we're all like that. Like good. the Kevin Hart point. Like I still stand on that, and it doesn't take away from anything that the AMP guys are doing. Obviously, I'm a little bit more tapped in now. I'm a little bit more familiar. <laughs> I bet. But I still stand on Kevin Hart's not doing certain shit if Kai Sinat's not there. And it's not a knock to any of them. I because they all got motion. I'll ask you this. Let's say there was no Kai Sinat in that AMP mansion, right? He's also said on stream that he wasn't as big, like the cousin, Kai Sinat that we know now. He wasn't that until he joined him. Yeah. Let's just say Kai never joined him. Wouldn't there, wouldn't there have to be one number one in that AMP group that celebrities and media personnel would default to, like they do Kai Sinat? But they might have not gotten the attention of a, of a Kevin Hart. It was Kai Sinat. Like, he was the special one. But, yeah. but I think during that discussion, yeah. I think our point was, like, I because I agree with Savon. I do mm. think that Kai Sinat was the reason that Kevin Hart, you know, did the freestyle and, like, collaborate with them. But during the initial discussion, Savon was like, it kind of made, you kind of made it seem like, no, none of them have motion. And that was the argument. Yeah. But now yeah, we all kind of up, we're on more of a common ground now. And oh, two, for sure. And two, for most people that don't know, Agent started Agent and um Agent started um a AMP and then he brought on the uh, Phantom and then Duke kind of was toying around with the idea, but then Duke originally or finally um joined. And so now without that whole thing coming together with uh starting with Agent, that probably wouldn't have happened. But like Kai said, he probably would have been successful because again he was doing videos at uh, i think he went to suny morrisville before he dropped out Ooh. yeah um and then like he, again he would have been successful regardless but to be there with everyone in the same house doing the same thing that's yeah. kind of what's shown a light on all the stuff that he's doing now that's my argument to y'all like i don't know if he's the cost not we know now yeah. if he doesn't join them mm -hmm. you know what i mean and if he doesn't join them then does kevin hart come well anyway salute to the it's like house. a it's like a Butterfly effect. He so was... when I said that on the last episode, I shouldn't know who Chris V is. That's his name. And, yeah. and please, y'all are going to have to correct me on a whole bunch of shit if I start fucking up names. But when it comes to speaking on Chris V at that time, I shouldn't have did that. Yeah. I can speak. Like, I, I can understand that. Maybe I shouldn't have did that. I wasn't informed. But there's certain things during that conversation I was informed about and I still hey, stand on. At the end of the day, our job is to create conversation. And I'm sure there are people that may have thought the way you have thought for mm -hmm. a very long time that support the AMP members. So. And I think it is okay. It's okay to say that, right? Like you can say anything you want. I think <laughs> it's okay to say yes. Everybody may have motion, and everybody's doing what it is that they're doing. But there's also just one person who crossed over the mainstream, and for whatever the reason is, he just happens to be that one. And it doesn't mean you're trying to cause division or anything. No, it does. It, no, it doesn't. No, it, no, it totally doesn't. Does. The way you, you said, said it, you, should, you said he should leave. Yeah. Yeah. I never said that. Yeah, and yes, that's, you know. I never say he you, should leave AMP. You said, you said if he you shouldn't find, have a, if you could, a Yo, if you could find a clip, no, well, you said, said everybody can't go and he should leave. No, Savon said he shouldn't have a group, quote unquote. You said he shouldn't have a group. And that that's everybody can't. That's not what you meant, but that's exactly what you said. And that everybody can't go. Pull it up. I never said that. 
So Bro, what did no, you I, say? And in, in, in the context sure. of yeah. everybody can't go, yeah. I was talking about the 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 situation yeah. that was going on with them. Not talking about mm-hmm. Duke Dennis and all Got of that. You. Because I wasn't informed. I was talking about the bullshit around his name, meaning everybody can't go. Which again I spoke out of term in that. And I can stay cool. I got that. I apologize. I don't want no smoke for that because that's just <laughs> ill-informed and you shouldn't do that. But in regards to everything else, I never said he shouldn't fuck with Duke Dennis or AMP. Not once did I say that. I wasn't, I didn't even know who they were. But you said leave the group. <laughs> Savon, you did say that. I'm not I did get say, pulled nah, up. You definitely said I you never said that. I didn't know he was did, in the group. Bro. Nah, bro, you t- trust me, you definitely said I didn't Kai. know so what AMP was four you, weeks ago. You said okay, Kai so maybe, shouldn't, be, shouldn't have a group. Yeah, no, maybe, I said he needs to be careful of who he has around I, him. When nah, I was you said refer- a lot more than that. <laughs> yo, bro. I can't so, remember yo, that. Pull up. I, 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 yeah, somebody pull I feel it, like I, we don't have to pull it up now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you did? Nah, know. cause y'all trying to mix my words, and that's one of the things. Nah, bro. Again, nah, bro. You said a lot. And, and too, look, people are gonna take what you say and I don't, don't understand <laughs> the. Co- I don't understand what you meant behind. It. They're gonna take what you say literally. Well, so I, I, I edited said. the clip. I actually seen the. A, a podcast. I seen a podcast of this a is nigga Duke that Dennis. said, mm-hmm. "I love his voice." That should leave the AMP. I, like <laughs> I never said he should leave hey, the AMP. I seen a I seen a podcast that said Kai should leave AMP, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, self. <laughs> I now understand why they said. Podcast equipment should be like a million dollars. I have heard that comment joke. like a million times this weekend. I've never heard it so much before between the yeah. Meek Mill comments and the Kai Sinatra. Like, yo, raise the price on podcast equipment. That joke, guys, you're so original. Like, nah, you're honestly, I like it. And, and yeah, you know, it's like it's funny. It's like, it's all right, right. you know what it is too. You know what it is too. That's a save on. Yeah. Most people know save on, but to be introduced to the world with a take. That's you know taken out of context like that is kind of crazy. So if I didn't know yeah. Savon or didn't know the Need to Know Pod or didn't haven't seen an episode about us, I'd probably think he's wild and like get the podcast mic out of him, out of, out of his face kind of thing. But again, you gotta understand the con the context. And Alex, it's like what you said about Matt, uh, about um, Mandy. To know Mandy is to love Mandy. To know Savon. Savon on that list too. Yeah. To like Savon. when you meet them in don't person, they're that great. Don't nah, don't what you mean? That's your homie. Don't put me on that list. That's your homie. It's different though. <laughs> <laughs> it's what the fuck we talk about. Stupid. And I appreciate how they both handled it. And, right. and yeah. again, it made me like just tap in a little bit more on who they are and what it is that they're doing. But I can also say, I think the world of streaming is massive. Mm. And when we get put inside like our kind of filter bubble, so to speak, in our echo chambers, mm. like I'm, I'm in the podcast world. So I'm going to know a lot more about podcasters than I am about streamers. And I'm sure a lot of the people who are tapped in with the streaming world, they don't give a fuck about the podcast world. No matter how big the person may be, no matter what that person is doing in that space, it's just not something that catches your attention. So as big as some of the folks in AMP are, right? And I had to learn and do my due diligence to see how big they are. And not not in a way because I, I feel no way. No, I just had to get educated. I still don't give a fuck about them. Like, I'm still not tapped into yo, streaming. Yo. What you mean? What? You know what? It's okay if Savon does not give a fuck about AMP. Like, that's fine. Oh, like, yeah, why nah, does he nah. have to give a fuck? That's you know what, what I'm, I'm saying? saying. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, when people But I can that, acknowledge me not shot. giving a facts. fuck yeah. doesn't take away from how great they are. Mm-hmm. No, facts. Two you guys, two things can be true. They're amazing. What I will say about this whole discourse or this whole conversation is that Certain people have translated into the mainstream. Kai Sinat is the one who translated into the mainstream. So when I say Kevin Hart's not going to pull up or I don't believe, my my opinion, I don't believe Kevin Hart would pull up and do a sleepover and an A.M.P. freestyle if it wasn't for Kai Sinat. I think a lot of people who may not be as familiar with the streaming world would agree because Kai Sinat has successfully translate it into the mainstream i i respect your opinion i do for the people that are our type though right it's hard for them to be like like phantom that pierre was mentioning he also has a nike deal yeah so it's like when you say mainstream maybe you just may not be privy to who else is as mainstream we know that kai is the big one but yo motherfuckers is not just getting nike deals he, ask some of these uh, athletes <laughs> he has a nike deal because he has influence yeah, right. That's, yeah, because he he built what he built in his arena, and he's at the top of the food chain. Mm-hmm. Shout out to what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Kevin Hart is not with him because he is not crossed over to being mainstream and recognizable in a way that Kai Sinai Kevin is. Kevin Hart is bigger than in, Nike in your world. Ke- thank you. That's the point in I'm trying to make. In your world, because Kevin Hart bigger than Nike. And, and wait, 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 what do you mean in my and world? Wor- so you like you, you just told us you aren't yeah. as tapped in, right? 
for those people who are tapped into the whole streaming uh, streaming universe, Kai, uh, Phantom, uh, Duke, Agent, Chris, er- and Davis, everybody's tapped into with them. Everybody knows who, is, who they everybody are. Everybody is not tapped the, in with the, them. The community of them. Of course. Know, I don't know if everyone's tapped in with them. That's not no, my I'm point. Talking about, I'm, 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 I'm talking about yeah. the community who's involved. Oh, yeah, that's a I'm not talking about That's them. a given, though, P. That's a given. Yeah, like, what I, I'm, I'm what, speaking what of that. I acknowledge that. What I'm saying is I know Kevin Hart is massive. I also have known Nike before Kevin Hart. You know what I mean? So we could both say that these things are both mainstream things. You know what I mean? So it's like, how do you gauge it? I, all right. How, how do I gauge it is? I think like Nike was before Kevin Hart. I think big companies, this big business, mm-hmm. you want to put your brand, you want to put your name, you want to do business with people who are doing it, whatever they're doing at the top of their industry. So like a Kevin Nike, Hart. like a Nike. No, I think there's different. The mm-hmm. difference between a Nike and a Kevin Hart mm-hmm. is that. Nike is just it's just about market share when you get to a certain point, right? Big companies want to partner with big people or influencers or streamers or whatever they fucking call any people today. Like those are what the big brands want to attach themselves to because they want to be with you. So Adidas is not with you. Or so Puma is not. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it's a partnership and he earned that and he mm-hmm. deserves that. I'm not taking away anything from that. But when you have individual talents and stars like a Kevin Hart, like a Nicki Minaj, Offset. people but w- who don't necessarily attach themselves to influencers in that way. It's not true. What do you mean it's not true? It's Unless a, they a, cross a, over to the mainstream. I don't a, see a lot of these big A-list saying, people with these sub streamers. I'm not even saying sub What All I'm saying is that Kevin Hart benefited from doing... With who? I, I, I know that. That's the easy part. With Kai Sinat. I'm not, what I'm saying is... It wasn't Kai just, Sinat, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Kai Sinat can also be viewed as a business like Nike. Where it's mm-hmm. like, okay, cool. We also want to be included in the revenue share and what's new and who's a new influencer to also promote what I have going on. But y'all keep talking so, about the other folks of the group. No, no, no. I was only bringing up Nike to your mainstream point. Kai, uh, Nike and Kevin Hart are both mainstream to me. So to it being mainstream is like, maybe that's a bit subjective in how you view mainstream because Nike's a pretty fucking big company. Like I said, I knew that before Kevin Hart. And on that episode... It wasn't only Kai on that episode. Drewski was there, Ben was there, and a bunch of other people associated with Kai. Whose stream was it on? It was on Kai's. It was, Kai's it was on Kai's and not stream. That's the given. Yeah. Drew, Drewski is not a part of AMP. Drewski is his own entity. Comedian, global commercials, Google, all these brands, prize picks. Like, yeah. Drewski is his own thing, mm-hmm. right? Kevin Hart is his own thing. Mm-hmm. Now, the fact that they had it in the AMP house, of course you're going to include all the other folks, which I saw a lot of the other people that's tapped in or that's from the streaming world be there and collaborate on that stream, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. the reason and the persons that it lived on, the IP that it lived on, was Kai Sinai. That mm-hmm. was the draw. That's all I'm saying. And it's not a knock to what anybody else is doing. But... Mm-hmm. Like, remove the ego and just say, oh, yeah, he is the one. And there's nothing wrong with that because everybody else still got motion. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. But I, don't, I can't speak for other niggas. If other niggas feel like they the one, like, <laughs> yeah. I, I think differently, bro. I'm sorry. And, and, we know, because I already told you last week, we know Ke- uh, Kai is the most identifiable one. Like, to, so that's a to given. Some. We know that already. You know uh, what I'm saying? Like, to not to, okay. Yeah, to, no, to, I'm saying to, to some. He was just number one on yeah, Rolling Stone's yeah. most fucking influencer and, creator risk. in the world. Yeah, we like, know that. It's yeah. not to some. Y'all keep trying to make it seem like I'm hating on the streamers. No, no, you're not, not hating. We're just, we just want you to see another side of maybe how you might. You know, view things subjectively. That's all, because we know that Cotton Out is the most identical member, right? Like, that's mm-hmm. not an argument. <laughs> I'm just saying, if there's other people in there with Nike deals. I'm like, mm-hmm. damn, Nike's pretty mainstream too. I think we could all agree that Kai Sana is the most popular, mm-hmm. but we're going to never downplay the rest of AMP. <laughs> they are also mainstream. <laughs> Boom, we're yeah. done. Thank you. They done shooting outside, man. They good. 